Hey guys, Jason here, Northern Path Family Farm. Today what we're working on is we're going to be planting some seeds, tree seeds, out in our tree nursery. Uh, planting these as seeds and then growing them out for one year as uh, one year whips or one year saplings. And then transplanting them uh, into their permanent home on the farm here next spring. So to do that, we've got over 100 seeds that we're going to be planting. we got honey locusts today that we're working on. And we want to very quickly and efficiently plant those out in the nursery, but we want them evenly spaced out to make efficient use of the spacing that we do have in the nursery. And the easy way to do that is to use a tool, a simple tool called a dibble. That's D-I-B-B-L-E, a dibble. And you may have heard of it before. A lot of people use them when they're planting out their seeds in the beginning of the, the growing year out in the garden. So to do that, we're just using a simple uh, scrap piece of lumber. We're going to drill. Uh, evenly spaced holes along the length of the, of, the, of the piece of lumber here. I'm planting out honey locust seeds and I, I'm custom spacing these for one inch spacing on center. That's a relatively tight spacing but again we're just growing these guys out in the nursery for one year after which we'll take them out and transplant them into the permanent home later on. So one inch spacing along the, the middle of the length of this, uh, this old 2x4 here. We're then going to insert from the back side a nail and it will protrude just enough to give us the depth of spacing that we need to plant those seeds out. So we're going to get to drilling the rest of these holes and then we'll show you how to use the dibble. Okay, so there you have it, quick and easy, a very simple tool. This is a dibble. We drilled all our holes, and then we just hammered in all the nails, and it's uh, evenly spaced out, one inch on center, and we got about a half inch depth with the nails here, so that's gonna give us the depth that we want to plant our seeds. So let's go ahead and head to the nursery, and we'll show you how to use it. Okay, guys, we're out here in the nursery right now. We've got our bed prepared, a uh, good mix of topsoil and some rotted horse manure. We've got our seeds right here. These are our honey locust seeds. Honey locust seeds, it's a, it's a pseudo acacia. It's got a very, the seed itself has got a very hard seed coat. And you need to scarify the seed prior to planting it so that it can germinate. The way that we do it is we, there's a number of different methods, but we can, we use a, uh, the boiling water technique. Boil some water, put the seeds in a cup, put the hot water over the seeds, let them soak for about 24 hours. And you'll notice they'll, because they'll imbibe with water, they'll actually engorge and become larger. And that's a good sign. That's typically uh, what we'll look for when we know that they're going to do well to germinate. So we're going to head and use, use the dibble now. Again, it's pretty self-explanatory. Simple piece of scrap lumber with the nails protruding with the, with the depth of space that you want. You just take that and then line it up in your bed and you're just going to push down. That'll give you your depth. And I can clearly see the holes that are now marked with the dibble. I'm going to go ahead and put those seeds in there, cover everything up with straw, and then hope for the best with germination in a couple weeks. We should be able to see these guys coming up. Take care, everybody. Happy gardening.